All right, hey there guys. We are here at Little Fireside Chats. Hi. And we have Gracie here with hey us guys. today. Hey guys. I'm so glad to be here and meet you Fireside Chats once again. And you have a new Bible verse to read, don't you Gracie? I do. Okay, so this verse today is out of 2 Corinthians 12, 9. It says, For he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I will boast all more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. I love that verse. Yeah, it's good. It kind of talks about how when we are weak, he, he is weak, his strength and his power, we can see that more clearly. And it makes us strong. Mm -hmm. Just like our Bible verse. That's yes. right. And so we attached... Um, a worksheet for you guys to do some artwork on um, our website so you can do that later on in the week and we're gonna show it to you here in a minute and Gracie's first gonna talk about when you've been insulted and insulted means like when someone has said something that makes you feel sad yeah when they hurt your heart by saying something so when someone on your soccer team if you play soccer or any type of team Tells, that you, tells you that you can't play the sport as well as they can, that probably hurts you and makes you feel sad. But God wants you to know that he is grace and that he is grace wants, and he wants to show that you can give grace onto that person and that you don't have to say a mean insult back. Mm. That you can know that you are loved and you can have grace on other people. Mm, that's so true and so good too. We don't need to get back at others. And sometimes we feel persecution and persecution is like maybe when you're left out or um, when others don't like you for a certain reason. Um, sometimes you get left out and that is really hurtful also to your heart and you can really rely on God's grace to be with you. And when you have been left out you can rely on him to take care of you and give you comfort through that time and you can look back on that time and see how he carried you through that time that's wonderful yeah and when another time when you're in hardships such as if your parents are in a divorce then you can i know that it's hard and you probably are so sad but you can know that god has grace on you and he loves you and that he has a plan for you and he has a plan for the future and that you don't have to stay sad about it even though your heart probably does hurt in that situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sometimes in difficulties um, you need God's grace to help you get through it say you've lost a loved one and you're really really sad about it you can count on him for strength to get you through that because he wants you to reach out and pray and ask for peace in your heart and help. And he is going to give you that strength. And when you, when you look back at all those times in your life, you can see how, how Jesus has carried you and taken good care of you. So we have put that chart there for you to maybe draw out some times that you've had these hardships or insults or persecution or difficulties. And then maybe at the bottom, maybe you draw what you saw God doing and how God took care of you. Yeah, we linked it in the website. So make sure to print it off and just write whatever you want and draw little pictures. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for coming. Bye.